5, 1.3. Now that means nothing by itself. Neither do I intend to confuse you, so let me move immediately to elaborate. 5, 22, 1.3. Back in 2010, it was a team effort of five political entities that won an historic electoral victory in Trinidad and Tobago. In the glow of that victory, I was assigned the responsibility as Minister of Labor and Small and Microenterprise Development for 22 divisions and agencies that fall under my portfolio and that today, in one way or the other, influences the daily lives of approximately 1.3 million individuals. Five, 22, 1.3. Ladies and gentlemen, the launch of this training is aimed at developing and strengthening national labor market information systems to generate timely, reliable, and internationally comparable labor statistics for use by governments, policy makers, employers, and trade unions. An internet-friendly labor market information system that allows for the collection, processing, analyzing, and disseminating of information on the labor market is essential to advancing the status quo of our countries from where we are today to where we all aspire to be in the not too distant future. It is of utmost importance that we accurately gauge current labor trends in our country. Adequate use of these statistics will enable our regional governments in particular to have a clearer idea of how many women or young people are employed or unemployed, for example. Labor market statistics allow us to measure and cut our cloth accordingly. This information system will establish selected labor administrative procedures and standardized computer-aided record keeping. These coordinated efforts at honing reliability, comprehensiveness, timeliness, and credibility in our data presentation will facilitate and complement technical procedures, reporting and the compilation of statistics, thereby contributing significantly to the body of economic and social data and information necessary to implement and properly manage policies and programs in the OECS and by extension, the Caribbean community as a whole. The software for the labor market information system will generate a set of statistical indicators on employment, industrial relations, labor inspection, and other services provided by the respective labor departments of OECS member states. But our work has only just begun. It is hoped that with the provision of the requisite technical expertise and skills that the system will be expanded shortly to include additional sources of labor market information from national insurance schemes, central statistical offices, private and public employment agencies, as well as employers and workers' organizations. This would allow agencies to exchange information and generate statistics on employment and the labor market and the wider public. As globalization, free trade, and regional integration advance, there is an increased demand for readily available labor market information. Labor, but particularly income and employment indicators are critical in analyzing economic and social progress at both macro and micro enterprise levels. Without these, 
no meaningful assessment of development performance is complete. Therefore, it is critical for each OECS member state to have timely information on labor and income aspects of the development process. This includes information on job losses and job creation, aggregate shifts in the allocation of labor between sectors and occupations, vacancies and job seekers, the quality of new jobs, the social costs of the transition process, including changes in income levels, and other information indicating how businesses and people are faring. 